Hello, true believers. I just got this in the mail. I, I, actually, I got this last week. I just haven't had time, or three days ago, I just haven't had time to review it. We just got this phone chest mount. So I know I got the mountain bike chest mount, but I wanted to get a one that I can mount on my chest. So I can be, as you can see, there's time to run it. I can use both hands. And I wanted the chest mount also for, figured for mountain bike riding. So here's the pieces that it comes in. So you've got the actual strap itself. So it makes it look like you're working at Home Depot because they've got these, these straps around them for two, they're like back supports. So here's, see, look, it's got all the strap, strappy. Looks like it's adjustable. It's got this quick release, quick release locking mechanism. And here's where it's adjustable right here. And then you've got the cell phone holder. It looks like over here. So I think the cell phone goes there. And then I'm not sure what this is. Problem is there's no instructions, but I'll figure it out. So this has some advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that, so it's, as you can see, it's this black plastic, this shiny plastic. The advantage is you can take it anywhere with you and you can have your hands free. The disadvantage is uh, that is your angles are gonna be limited to, especially if you're like riding a mountain bike and it's on your chest, and if you're leaning over too much, then you're not gonna get the proper angles as you do with a, the mountain bike mount, handlebar mount. But that one you only goes on a mountain bike or a handlebar, while this one you can take anywhere. So I'm gonna figure out how this goes. I'm gonna have Hero model it for us, how it looks on his chest, and then I'll, kind of demonstrate how the footage is. Like I said, I, I decided to get this because I so I could take, be hands-free and take it anywhere. I, I'm probably gonna look dorky in, initially, but I wanted to try it out for vlogging where I, I'm at a point where I need to be hands-free. So like, for example, right now, but the problem is like, I couldn't, I noticed that because of this, look at this, it's only limited to how much it can move that I, wanted to, that's why I got the mountain bike still. So I think it goes like that. So anyway, I'll figure it out and then I'll, and I'll, in the world, how does this work? Okay, let me figure it out. Okay, true believers, here it is, here's Hero modeling the chest mount as you can see he's got his iphone pro on it and kind of turn for us and see so it's it's adjustable over here and adjustable over here so it's adjustable so you can mount it up pretty high on your chest which is probably the preferred way of mounting it so that's what it looks like in the back so it looks like you're 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 packing when you've got this so here's what it looks like from the side and let's take a look at the the hinge mount system over here so you can actually flip it up like that or flip it all the way down like that and so this part will be blocking your view so it's it's just a spring mechanism that keeps it locked down so if you look at it just so this part will will be blocked of your screen but you could you could you get the idea if it's still in frame and then it, it could be as pointing up like this you could always you could also if you want you could you could take this off and flip it around so you can get if you if you really want a to look up at the sky but that's and, and right up in your but that's not ideal this is this this is this is plenty, as you can see. And if you wanted to go look all the way down. So you could, I'm just saying you could turn this around. So 
it could be like this. So if you if you turn this hinge around, you could take this this off right here. So this is the part where I'm not sure what this part does. So this this part is the rotation part. So you could rotate it, and this is for the swivel up and down part. So it's got this quick release clasp over here. So like that. And then you, you just make sure your buttons are not here being pressed by the clamp or it might, you might accidentally turn it off. So like that. So there's so, so you could rotate it like this if you want the uh, panoramic versus portrait view like that. So that's what the, what, what this screw is for right here for, to tighten that. And this one is for the swiveling up and down. So as you can see, it, it doesn't rotate this way. You're gonna have to manually like rotate yourself like that, you like that if you wanted to, to change the views. So for, for what did the boss say? For five bucks, I think it's, it's worth it, but here's some, some pros and cons with it. So the advantages is, as you can see, it's, it turns, it's pretty secure, it's adjustable, and your hands are free, and it's cheap. So the only problem is I, I'm, I'm looking at it is a few things is one is the phone's not very secure. If you're like walking around Capo Mall or Divisoria and you're vlogging, somebody can come along and just like rip this off. There's not any locking mechanism to keep it down. The other thing is that uh, it, that there's no chain like you can't set the the you can't turn it this way it goes up and down this way and you could rotate it this way but you have to use your body to to turn and see and you know this this part is blocked right here and what's good is like it's it's pretty secure up here so let me see if I can take this off. Here, hold hold this part. No, no, hold 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 this hold this part down. I'm gonna try to get this thing to. <laughs> yeah, let me do. It. Where do you want to do? I'm trying to un unlatch this thing by bringing it up. So this thing it goes up like this. <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't want my face to get hit. No, your face won't get hit. It's just you gotta lift this up. Well, anyway, <laughs> so this. Is is pretty secure. So, so what's so what's the big downside? Why won't you wear it? Well, when I first wore it, and Hero was there, I showed this to the boss and say like, "Hey, what do you think?" And she probably pointed and laughed for like 15, 20 minutes when I when I showed it to her, because. It's, I think my, I think the first problem was I had it a little lower down here when I first had it. So it looked kind of maybe phallic at, at that point when she was, and she said that I was kind of like pointing it at her. And so that's maybe a lot of the source of the, of the funniness was coming from. But if you look at it and if you look at it, it's not discreet. You look like you're, you're wearing a harness. You're definitely, you look off. It's not discreet, so that's probably the biggest issue with it. And it's not very secure, not very safe. It just screams, mug me or, or snatch my phone when you're wearing this out in public. But I think if you're in a secure area, maybe inside an SM mall or somewhere at home where, and, and you need your hands to be free, then this is fine. But another thing that I noticed was, these straps are pretty thick, so they, they will kind of get hot on you. It is. Thick. Yeah, it feels it, it feels it feels hot already. Versus the the phone mount, it's this the mountain bike handlebar mount. It's discreet, it's secure, it's waterproof. While this one, it's got its advantages and disadvantages. But the biggest one is it's it's you're you're not gonna you're gonna be noticed when you're wearing it. It's not gonna be discreet, and it's gonna be it's going to get uncomfortably hot, especially here in the Philippines. So uh, it has its moments where I'm definitely going to use it, especially when I do unboxings. And I'll, uh, but 
would I prefer to use this over the handlebar mountain bike? Yes, probably when I'm mountain biking, I'll use the handlebar mountain bike, but when I need my hands free and I'm not on the mountain bike, then I'll probably use this. How often I'm gonna be using it? I don't know, it's gonna be situational. But for five bucks, I think it's worth it. And there might be times where I will be vlogging and I want my hands to be free and this is the perfect solution for it if you don't mind but i i wouldn't go out to mcdonald's with this thing and and because you might get people are are more weary about all oh, your vlogging and they don't want to be on your channel if, if that's the case then they're gonna want to that you might get some problems uh in terms of how they they might want to stay away from you if that's the case all right so Next is I'll do some samples. You'll see some sample videos of me vlogging with this thing, doing some unboxing, and then I'll probably take it on a short bike ride to show you what it looks like. But it's it's already hot and I probably wouldn't wear this. I mean, you, as you can see, it probably wouldn't shake as much as if it, on the mountain bike handlebar. And the angle that I was worried about was that it might not have the proper angle, but as you can see, it it does fine. Okay, so that, that completes our review. I'll take it on a short bike ride to let you know what it's like. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Okay, I just wanted to show why we were struggling with un, 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 unhooking this thing. What you needed to do was, this. there's this technique over here. You have to squeeze this part right here. So once you squeeze this part right here, then it will be easy to slide off. So it's pretty secure, the hinge. So if you just push like this, there, like that, and it comes off, see? Easily slides off, so, no, so like that. And then if you wanna latch it back again, you just push down on it. There, it's pretty solid. So then you, you tighten over here, then you tighten over there, and it's pretty secure. It's got these foam, foam back here, and plastic over here to keep it secure. All right, let's take it out on a bike ride. Okay, true believers, I am on the Trinks mountain bike, and I want to demonstrate what the, what the chest mount is like. As you see, I have it right now. Okay, here, let me do... Oh, well, right now it's on the mountain bike handlebar mount. So what I'll do is I'll take it off. So you can see what it's like when I mount it on. So this is what's nice about this mountain bike handlebar mount is it's magnetic, so I don't have to worry about. So that's what it looks like with it off, like that. So as you can see, it's pretty secure, and you can operate it, and it's waterproof and it's pretty discreet now we're gonna put it on our chest mount so i have the chest mount right here and it just spring loaded so when you load it up when you mount it on here you just have to make sure you don't press the buttons accidentally and it's ready to go so now i just kind of adjust see i can't really see but adjust how much angle I want I don't know if that's gonna how much I just the problem is I just can't see I can't see <laughs> I can't see if this is the proper angle or not well anyway let's try it so you get an idea of what it's like it's hard to you with it mounted on your chest like this it's hard to see but let's demonstrate so we'll just ride through the park maybe run over some ducks so you can appreciate what it's like to have a mountain bike chest mount versus the this one am i just getting i'm worried i'm just getting just a chest mount here versus this one so well you'll get the idea So let's go through the park here. So you can see my suspension. Let's run over some ducks. I don't know if you can 
see the ducks. The ducks are hanging out. So it, it gets, what's nice about it is you can hear the sound. It's not like muffled, like the one in the mountain, the handlebar, where it sounds like you're underwater when you're listening to it. Let me wait this thing down a little bit more so you could appreciate where I'm going. So I think I don't think I'm pointing it low enough. Let's try that. So you could adjust the swivel so that'll help. Because they loaded the ducks. Nope. Too low. Nope. Nope. Now I can. So yeah, I just have to adjust it like that. No, nope, too low. Sorry for the, I guess it's my first time, so I have to adjust it. Maybe that's better. No, nope, that's better, but you get the idea. It's just difficult to know and make the adjustments while you're on the fly versus on them on the handlebar mount excuse me excuse me pardon me excuse me versus the handlebar mount you can exactly see and operate it and it's waterproof but the handlebar mount stays on the handlebar well this one you can get off the bike and take it with you wherever the only problem is that you just have to deal with the people staring and then if you got your boss she might when you first wear it don't wear it too low like i said there's something phallic about it when it's too low and you kind of point it at people so to her it's it's funny but to other people it's gonna be awkward and uncomfortable so that's that's the problem with this harness thing set on your chest. It just screams, hey, look at me. And I'm vlogging, so run away, especially here in the Filipino culture. So you could see the there's probably a lot of shaking going on with this. So if you don't have good like image stim image stabilization on your phone. You might get a lot of shaking but this is on pretty okay terrain and here we go so you people are probably familiar with with this area right here so you just kind of have to point this is where hero and i play football so that's that's how we close we are to it we can just practically eh, we can walk to it but we have so much equipment so there it is. Let's go up the hill. Yeah, it's it's hot. These harnesses are thick, and I can feel the sweat building up where the where the harness is. So So there. Ta -da. Check it out. So what do I think about it? You you let me know. I already did an unboxing of it, so it's it's convenient. So for the price, for, for five bucks, I mean this one. So you're you're asking yourself, well, which, which one do you get? This one or this one? I mean. You just go ahead and get both so they're they're so cheap i mean it's like one's five bucks the other one's seven bucks and you have the versatility to have both then why not this is easy to take off you can put it up put it on any bike without any special tools 
this one once you get off the bike you can still wear it around with you you just have to worry about getting arrested for vlogging which has happened to me here in the philippines so that's a sample let me know what you think in the comments if you don't mind people pointing and laughing at you at a clown then pick one up and since it's not that expensive it's a nice tool to have in your arsenal if you're if you're serious about vlogging so if you had to pick one or the other if you only had like five bucks and you had to choose between the handlebar then then i guess guess this, get this one because this one like i said is limited to just the bike versus this one on your chest is more versatile the only problem is you have to worry about snatchers stealing your phone and and all this attention here in the philippines attention is good but it also could be bad and detrimental and deadly all right because people over here will will as you can see what people how far and people will are willing to do go willing to do for for money and things like this or things that represent money just like your cell phone all right so that's the, the review let me know what you think would you buy one and i'll see you guys in the next vlog this is bevitoli totally. thanks for watching here we go as a comparison here it is with the with it on the mountain the handlebar mount so you can compare which one gives you a better this one this one is easy because like i said if i don't like this view i can just stop i, I don't even have to stop i can just kind of adjust so i can get a better frame on my shot and as you can see the only problem is that it's uh, the sound sounds like you're underwater but you can you can solve this problem by putting on a headset with a microphone that's bluetooth i know you probably say well it's, it's in a waterproof case yes but you can go wireless and use bluetooth i think we have one if not you can buy one really cheap also for like five bucks on Shopee or lazada so about when I open this is it's uh, the phone is gonna fall off but don't worry about it put the magnet on it so now that's off the handlebar mount let's put it on the chest mount now so you could do another comparison just make sure to just squeeze it in there like that set the so let's do another so let's try that so back back to the chest mount let me know what you think oh, see bad angle 
Is it just the angle? Because I couldn't. There. Let's try that. I can't tell if I have it pointed too low. And then it 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 adjusts if I lean too much on it or not. Let me see. Okay. It's pretty high up on my chest, that's why I can't see if it's pointing properly or not. That's that's the hard part, just adjusting. Seeing if I lean down, then I can't I can't tell what's in the frame. So that's the only downward. So I have to experiment with it and see which one gives me the best angle. So I'm riding with the mountain bike. So you saw it with it on the handlebar. And now you see it here on my chest. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments. Which one do I like better? I, it's too early to say. They both have their pros and cons. So after maybe some time, I'll let you know which one I use, the, I use more. But this one, like I said, probably better idea to get both. Okay, that concludes the vlog.